Welcome back. You're watching FBC Sports. Green Moon has won the 2012 Melbourne Cup in a pulsating race this afternoon. The outside favourite, which wasn't amongst the top bets, outdid everyone to clinch the $6.2 million cup race. Here's the action towards the end of the 3200 meter race. Green Moon is coming on. Kalini is joining in in the middle too. They were clear then from Fiorente starting to work home and then came Jackalberry. Then Cadden Gold is grabbed by Green Moon. Green Moon dashed to the lead in the Melbourne Cup, followed by Kalini. Fiorente starting to come home. Green Moon out in front for Brett Prevel. He's two lengths clear from Fiorente. And Green Moon wins the Melbourne Cup by a length and a half. Fiorente. Jackalberry's run third. Kalini four. Matt Athos got home late, followed by Glenn Cadden Gold. They were trailed further back then by Murian Red Canoe. Precedence. Mike West for Peace Cavalry Man. American didn't come on. Fing Bing followed further back then by Lights of Heaven and Nywat. And further back in the field was Sanagas. And behind these, Tech de Bustron. Uh, Voila Isi. Galileo's choice. Dedadin's finished a long way back with the lucky day. He's a billionaire. Unusual suspect. And uh, Ethiopia's uh, a distant, distant last in the Melbourne Cup. Greg all Greg, Green Moon for Brett Treble, three winners in Hong Kong on the weekend, has a phenomenal record during the Emirates Melbourne Cup Carnival, a place getter for Lloyd Williams of Sailor Gear, and now Lloyd wins his fourth as an owner. With the 2012 Melbourne Cup win already crowned, punters are either rejoicing or disappointed. The hustle and bustle prior to the big race seemed like a walk through the park, so long as your lucky last bet pulled through. Elaine McDonald got into the thick of things around Suva. Who was everyone placing their bets on? It's uh, Dunedin. And I just hope he wins. <laughs> it's number 20, Light of Heavens. It's uh, number 5 and number 24. That's Winchester? Uh, Winchester and uh, Kellen. And just how much were they willing to spend? Uh, most probably $20. That's enough for me, Fiji dollars. So it's better. Cheaper, the better. The big payout will be tomorrow. But there's no doubt Suva and all around the country was a buzz with the Melbourne Cup fever. Lunchtime was the peak hour for most to tear away from work and place their lucky last bets. Betting outlets were at least three buildings away from each other. Let's hope Dunedin gets me more than that $1 I spent. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. The Fiji Rugby Union says it does not have any comments at the moment on claims that three Fijian players were paid off to not appear at the 2011 World Cup. This after London newspaper The Independent printed allegations by former racing Metro coach Simon Mannix. Mannix claims Cyril Mbombo, Chon Ngobu and Josh Matevesi were paid not to play for the Flying Fijians. At the time, Bombo and Ngobu cited personal reasons, while Matevesi said he wanted to focus on club commitments, missing out on playing for the playing for Fiji at the 2011 Pacific Nations Cup. This effectively ruled them out of the World Cup. The club has denied this and the International Rugby Board says they can only investigate if there's an official complaint lodged. And still with rugby, inform robust forward Akapusi Ngera has been released by Gloucester to feature for the Flying Fijians against England this weekend. This after the side suffered injury problems in the last few days. Selvin Chan spoke to the Fiji camp in London. Yeah. Most of the Europe-based players are in camp now. Akapu Singera and backline utility, Kameli Ratuvo, being the latest inclusion into the team. Both players had earlier opted to stay on for club commitments. But under IRB laws, Fiji's injury problems meant the clubs had to release the players. The cold weather remains the biggest obstacle for the players. It's, it's a total... They're going through an adaptation process, uh, we have noticed, apart from the uh, jet lag, uh, the cold weather has uh, kicked in. <laughs> However, in the next uh, day or two, they should be fully adapted to uh, the routine. The Europe Tour is also a new experience for many of the local players. The management are hopeful that these players will adapt. From our last camp environment in Tawalevu, uh, they've been put in a direct uh, basic style accommodation. And now they're here in the uh, UK, uh, in, in pairs. They've been allocated a room each with comfortable beds. Uh, they're really adapting to that. Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, everything is positive at the moment as we speak. Yeah? After the dismal performance in last year's World Cup, Fiji has a point to prove. 
Having never beaten England before, the Flying Fijians know the game will not be easy. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. And it has been revealed by Fiji Football that three Super Premier Districts have not been able to finish their local league competitions. This means only a limited number of clubs will take part in the National Club Championships from this weekend. Shalvin Chan spoke to Fiji FA CEO Bob Kumar, who says this is contradicting their wishes and these districts could face disciplinary action. The Chris Science National Club Championships zone playoffs start this weekend. Missing will be clubs from Lambasa and Savu Savu. Certainly there are no clubs from uh, north uh, because they, not ha they were not having regular competitions. So, uh, and uh, Savu Savu, although they completed, but their players are not licensed or registered, so we will not be able to accept them. Rewa 2 is guilty of not completing its local league competition, meaning they also will not be represented at the NCC. And uh, many clubs were trying to rush in towards the end, and uh, we discouraged that. We sounded out, and here this year in August, we sent out settlers to all the districts, telling them to have uh, complete their uh, club championships so that uh, they are in position to nominate uh, clubs for the NCC. But the, our um, request or our uh, instructions were not heeded to. It also seems that Govin Park in Bao will host the NCC finals after the zone playoffs in Suva and Nandi. We are looking at uh, Gobin Park Bar because all other grounds are committed and uh, we will need two grounds. It is uh, dif uh, having difficulty in getting around. There are no grounds in the south, so we have to go to west and um, uh, we, have we have looked at uh, Gobin Park and Bar. Ten teams in the south and six in the west will battle it out to make it to the NCC finals. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. And that's it from Sports Tonight.